Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video here to show off a brand new belt. That's right. My carry experience continues, and I thought I'd share it. Got my Glock 19 on, Raven Eye Dolan holster. Back to the original clip, no longer the Incog Eclipse clip, but that's another story. Here's the belt. This is an Ares Aegis belt. It's uh, really cool. Let me just see if I can get the light better. Eh, it doesn't help. It's a really cool belt. Let me tell you what I really like about it. Number one, it's easy on, easy off. Give you a little bit better look. You can see right here, there's a little band. And that keeps this overlying part of the belt uh, attached or at least laying against the bottom layer of the belt. You got to keep your hand on that because it slides, it can slide off. But, uh, so here it is. Aries Aegis, you got the buckle there. And to put it on, it's very simple. Just bam. And you tighten it up as you want. Push it in to tighten this little band. goes over the thingamajig, and there you got it. So here it is. This is the belt, pal. As you can see, it's uh, stiff. Now, it's not a concrete piece of steel wrapped around your waist, but you know what? i got to make a point here. You don't need that. Now, you don't want some flimsy piece of shit from some bullshit store for your carry belt. Uh... But you know what else you don't need, man? You don't need a fucking mountain rigging belt. I'm going to tell you, here's, here's some, I got a point to make on these belts. This is a good one because it's not so tactical that you look like an asshole. And I'm not judging people out there that have bought, I'm not judging people out there that have bought uh, other belts. I bought belts, okay? I bought those belts. But here's what I got a problem with those other belts. I don't like the, I don't like the rigging belt buckle, man. I think it looks retarded. I think it makes you look like a fool. It looks a little bit too G.I. Joe-ish, or it's like, what the fuck are you wearing a mountain rigging belt buckle for just walking around? It, it, just, it, just, it just draws attention you don't need. The other main thing about those belts is nine times out of ten, they've got some kind of fucked up Velcro on them. Dude, Velcro is for little kids' shoes. It's not for a grown man's belt. It sounds weird. You know, it's like, it just sounds, if you got to take a shit, you're in the stall and you're like, shh. It's like, what the fuck is going on? It sounds stupid. So I think the, the the belt buckle on those other belts, along with the Velcro, they're just too much. It's, it's just too much. You don't need all that. And, and, and frankly, my own personal opinion, I don't care. Hey, look, you got one, you like it, good for you. My personal opinion is they look stupid too, and they sound stupid. Uh, this gives you something more than just a leather belt, so it's kind of fun, it's kind of cool, um, but it's not tactical. The buckle... Yeah, it look, I'm not going to lie to you, it looks a little weird too, okay? But it's not a big rigger mountain man belt buckle, it's just a silver buckle, it's a little bit thick, but it's short and it doesn't get in the way of carrying a pin die, which is all I care about. So, let me put it on for you. So just got to unroll everything here, so here we go. It's easy to put on. These are just regular jeans. These are Carhartt jeans. Pick them up. I think I got these at Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's Sp No, I didn't. I got them at uh, Gander Mountain. Gander Mountain. So here we go. Comes around. Roll it through the buckle. And the beauty of this is it tightens up with you. It can grow. It can, it can shrink. And it can grow with you a bit. Because you just slide it through and get it as tight as you want. At which point, you just slide, roll the roller toward the right, and it tight, and it locks it into place. Put it under here. Take the band to cover the other part. Hold it against the belt, and you're set. So there it is. And then I just, I usually move my buckles all the way to the left, so that way, the 19 fits right in there. Then if I want, I might do a quick, yeah, it feels good, 
And there you go. That's it. Now, the other thing about, yeah, so that's it. That's really pretty much it. I mean, I don't want to put down those other belts. I don't want to come off like a jerk. I bought like two or three of those things myself, so I can't judge too harshly. But in my opinion, if you are just a regular guy that wants a belt that's a little bit of fun, provides a little bit more stability than maybe a leather belt, although I'm not sure it really does, but it's still kind of cooler than a leather belt, but it doesn't make you look like a ninja wannabe or like, you know, you're about to go climb a mountain and you don't have a big Velcro strip. You got to, you know, it's just, that stuff's too much. This is good. This is good. And it's the Ares Aegis belt. The belt I got is not the enhanced version. It's nothing fancy. This was actually a quick ship option. It was my size. Uh, and it's basic coyote, which I actually do like the coyote color. Basic silver belt buckle. I didn't have... You know, they have customized options. You can get a big don't tread on me flag or a big uh, American flag on here. I don't want that shit. I don't want something to draw attention to myself. Just like I don't put bumper stickers on my car, I don't want big fucking tactical shit on my person either. So, it's a great option. Block 19 sits just fine on it, and I'm set. Uh, one other point of news I, I want to say, I am selling my Glock 43. The Glock 43 is a very fine single stack, 9mm weapon, but you know what it is not? Worth keeping around. It's not worth keeping around. Now that I can carry the 19 so easy with the Raven and this belt, uh, I just don't have a need for it. And I got, I've always had people interested in it, so I've secured a buyer, I'm selling it. It's coming, it's going with the, the Terran Tactical ba base pads, it's going with the, the night sights on it, it's going with... Uh, the NCOG Eclipse holster, it's all going. Because I can use the money, I'm not a rich person, and I never carry it because I can carry this so easy. And why wouldn't I want 15 plus 1 instead of 6 or 7 or 8 plus 1? There's just no need for it. So will I get another firearm? Yeah, probably. I'm even curious to see what uh, comes from SHOT Show. But even if I get something new, it'll probably just be for shits and giggles because let's, i got to be honest, this, the 19 is all I need. I know that sounds cliche, but it is. That's all I need. It's great for home defense. A 17 only gives you two more rounds. And it's great for concealed carry, as you can see. I've been carrying this everywhere I can legally carry it, and no one notices. And it, no one should notice. It's not there for any purpose other than if I really, truly need it to save my life. And uh, so the 43 is going to be sold, and just an update for you, it's not because it's bad, it's because I don't need it, and I'd rather have money. Um, the, the 19 is going nowhere, I don't think I'll ever sell this firearm, it's my favorite, and I can carry it everywhere with the Raven Eidolon holster, Ares Aegis belt, you know, I mean, I throw a mag in my pocket, I'm good. So there you go, if you have any questions, feel free to leave questions below, and uh, that'll do it. Later.